Hi there, before we do the next item that I want to show you, I'll show you one of my lovely pussy cats. This is Mia, a beautiful cat. The other two are upstairs on the bed, but this is Mia. It's a lovely cat, pure white. She's not deaf. Sometimes with pure white cats, they're in fact deaf, but this is she is fine, she's not deaf, she hears me. Mind you, I'm calling her, she's not looking at me. You're wagging her tail a bit. But that's Mia, a lovely cat. Absolutely sport. I'll put the odd one in with the other cats and that. But one thing I would point out, these cats have a tendency of sunburn to their ears, but being very, very white. The ears can get sunburnt, so I'll be very careful in excessive light and sun. Anyhow, that's Mia. Well, now I'm going to have, have a look at something a bit different. As you probably guess, I do like the odd item. This was something I bought on eBay. It was not cheap. I wanted to buy it as kit form and I inquired to the person supplying this and um, I got an email back saying they did do it as a kit form and the email unfortunately I didn't get it went into a file which I didn't receive till after the event anyhow to cut a long story short I tried to get back to this dealer and I found that I've been blocked. First time it's ever happened to me on an item that I wanted to buy the boot sale. So if that gentleman's watching me, I did obtain this lamp and I'm not going to be rude about it. I think he was probably worried I was going to have a go, but I'm not having a go. This is a Nixie tube lamp. These Nixie tubes seem to have been found loads of them in... Um, Russia or the late USSR um, all a Nixie tube is is a neon bulb and it's run at DC so you're only lighting up one electrode and each electrode as you can see is numbered one to zero with the grid at the front which you can probably just see I'm trying to put this in as a sort of educational one as well that grill in, in the front is the other electrode being run on DC obviously only one half lights up and each of the numbers are taken out and separately connected to pins at the base of the tube Anyhow, it's just sold as the cent central unit. I'd have liked, well, I'd have loved to have built it up. It would have been a bit difficult though, but I've got sold soldering irons on that. But um, I decided to ask a friend to, uh, to buy it for me, which he did. I had to pay for it. But um, anyway, that's the lamp. It shows the time. Uh, probably wondering how earth does it give the time? I'll give you a demonstration. This is on the uh, the 24 hour clock being in England. I must admit I do prefer the the uh, the 12 a.m. p.m. But this is set up. You can change it and it w you can also get it to show the date. Anyhow, basically what happens from now 1 5 that's 15 31. And again 15.31 you go over to the next minute it'll go 15.32 that's 15.31 at the moment and that's how it works it's just simply um, a timer circuit in there it's controlled by a crystal so it's exact timing there is another one on eBay which uses the, uh, the mains frequency he says it's available for this country or America so I don't know how they how the actual differences are changed but this one being a crystal you can use it anywhere as long as you've got a source of 12 volts it will work 
I mounted it inside this little clock case and I think it's made quite a nice job. I'll pop the case on. There we are, that's, that's with the case on. So there we are. These are found on eBay. They're a nice, nice interesting talking point. They are well made. Credit where it's due, they're well made. And it's a nice, nice little Nixie tube. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Any comments please leave. Any questions please leave. Thanks again for watching.